and welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on YouTube. It is great to have you here. I almost forgot how I do intros. It's a thing that I, I did, apparently. <laughs> it is great to have you all here this uh, lovely Thursday. And uh, I'm just trying to think, what, do I have anything in the way of announcements? Not especially, but... It is great to be back. Uh, so let's, you know, I think I'll just uh, jump over to the game uh, and we'll talk about this. I am going to be doing a uh, recording for a video, I think, today. So, so that's going to be fun and exciting. So <laughs> I'll jump in there and explain what's happening as part of the video. All right. So we, so we already, I'm not, okay. <laughs> we are ready to uh, get this party started. Alrighty. Totally not. And welcome back to Create here on Music Free Gaming. That's right, it's another episode in the Create mod. And I am standing in front of a cactus farm that I built on stream. Uh, just the other day. So if you haven't already, turn on notifications uh, and subscribe and all that good stuff so that you know when I'm going live because it's awesome. And boom, cactus. Well, here's the thing. I have stuff I want to build right now. One of the things I wanted to build was a machine to auto harvest my wheat up there. But in order to make that, I need glue, right? I need super glue to put everything together. But I don't have glue. That it, It's annoying. Because to do that, you need slime. And I don't have slime. Okay, there are slime chunks nearby. I kind of know where they are. Because chunk base is awesome. But I have to go digging and I don't want to dig. However... Create Mod has a recipe for slime that involves lots of dye. That's why I've got the cactus farm. Some dough, which you create from wheat. And bone meal, because I need lime green dye. So I can make slime and then make glue and then make a windmill and harvest my crops. It's going to be awesome. So... Uh, let's hit all the right buttons and get to it. Ah, hey, Sprite, welcome, welcome. And I'm glad you're awake for stream. I can't hit the right buttons, apparently, at all today. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, I've got lots of cactus. I'm gonna have to s smelt some of this. Um, yeah, I'll just take a quarter stack of this. How you doing? Are you surviving all of your family drama? That's still hopefully uh, less of a thing, I, I hope. Dream. Let's see. Yeah, that should cook in there just fine. Um, let's see. What do I need here? That's about all you can say. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I I feel that myself some days. I'm just glad I know what's wrong with my feet, because <laughs> that's a that's been annoying. Okay. So that's dough. Cool. Now I need to see, do I have bones? I do have bones. Perfect. Don't have a lot of them. But that's okay. Turn that into die. Okay, well hopefully. So hopefully you'll uh, get all that sort of sorted out. Won't be too big of a, a problem for you for too much longer. All right, what else do I need for slime? Slime is dough and lime green dye. I have dough, I have lime green dye. And then what is super glue? Just to make sure I've got all this. It's two slime, iron sheets, and iron nuggets. 
Yeah, that well that's right. They can can fix my foot. Um Yeah, the uh your drama is an entirely separate problem. Alright, let's go get an iron sheet. Guys. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. You know, when I get to the point where I have splash potions of health, I really need to throw them at those guys over there. <laughs> Some of them are a little worse for wear. All right, I have apparently some raw salmon. Awesome. It's, uh, I AFK'd here for my uh, farm. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have plenty of bone meal. So I did end up with a fish in there. Well, that's, holy iron, Batman. All right, I guess I'm going to have to uh, cr compress some of that. Or at least, uh, yeah, turn it into blocks. That's awesome. Okay. Cool. All right, so, no, I didn't actually get the sheet. Cool. I don't need the one, so we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem, Sprite. Go ahead and hit me up. Sometimes it helps just to have somebody to talk to. I know that feeling well enough. All right, so I need... Okay, so let's see. All right. Let's do this. I guess I can do this here. All right down here with my flaming golems and I think I have everything I need so I can get some slime okay got two slime balls and then the super glue oh yeah <laughs> there will be many things sticking together and that will be sticky and awesome all right and I'm gonna have to do a couple of things to fix my farm up here uh, but I think I'm gonna have to figure out how to craft what I need uh, to do it. But <laughs> I could glue all the things. <laughs> so much gluing. All right. So what I want to do? Hello, cow. All right. So I've got. Strom's actually started a year ago. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely... Uh, see how that would... <laughs> it's, it's weird. You think about that. It's like, man, I've had this problem for a year. Weird. You know, now that I'm looking at this, yeah, I'm going to have to change all of this, which is cool, but also, yeah, okay. <sighs> All right, so let's see. How do I want to get started? Well, what I'm going to need first of all is a windmill bearing. Man, it, it's weird. <laughs> wow, hey. Hey, Sprite, you want to ban that? Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm trying to figure out what I need for a windmill. Oh, hey, I've got it. Sweet. Let's, let's see, let's see. We get them. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Sprite. All right, so. Oh, windmill bearing, all this good stuff. You know what? Because I have a plethora of iron, let's go grab some iron and I'll... Nothing says high efficiency windmill like being made of iron. <laughs> Can do the thing, indeed. Ah, uh, this is how I know I've hit the big time. Is the bots are hitting my accounts? That's it. 
<laughs> oh man. All right. So let's put away some of this stuff. All right. And let's grab what I can here. It turns out this iron farm is actually fairly efficient, which I'm happy with. Oh yeah, this is going to be more than enough iron for this mess. Cool. That's all of the happy little... Okay. You know, that's right. You just, just ride it back. Ride it back. There you go. All right. Okay, so I've got a windmill bearing. I'm going to need... I've got shears. Let's see. What, um, what else do I need? Oh, I need stuff. I don't need my shield. What's the stuff? It grows on sheep. Wool! That's what I need. I need wool. Okay, maybe I'll wait until after night falls. <laughs> um, ooh, do I have andesite? That is the question. Might not. Okay, if I have to go mining for andesite, that's going to be annoying. I mean, not totally unusable, but, or, un unusable unusual unexpected one of those unwords i if i have to do that i'm gonna have to do something and it's gonna be an unword yeah that i'm sure that all made perfect sense perfectly all right let's grab the shears hi guys how are you doing can i remember how shears work it's one of those things I, I just, I usually just set up a sheep farm. If I sh shear sheep more than like three times in a, in a world, it's by hand. It's a little bit of a surprise. 45 should do it. Okay. Sweet. So if I want to build a sail, it's wool, sticks, and and it's what say alloy. Okay, I think I only have. Wow, I have all the eggs in the world, all of them. <laughs> this is what happens when, for go, when I go into the chicken pen, I guess. Um. And a sight. Well, there's one. Not quite what I had in mind there, you know. And. Um, Oh, I'm going to have to go mining for andesite. Cool. Fortunately, I know where there is some, so... Can, so I can go get that. I've got a lot of villagers there. Fortunately, it won't be too long before I uh, set up the villager trading hall. I was going to start on that this session. Or, you know, for the next video. But I really need to play with some other stuff first, so. Um, yes, there will be a sorting system in my future. However, I saw a video the other day about sort on how to build a sorting system in Create Mod. And, oh, it was very, very cool. And super simple. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to, I don't have the uh, materials yet to build it. I need, what, what is in brass? Like, I need, if I need brass ingots, um, how do I create a brass ingot? Um, I compress stuff, but where's the... All right, somewhere here, there is a, how do I craft this? 
Oh, okay, you mix it. Copper and zinc. Okay. All right, so over a blaze burner. Wonderful. Yeah, see, and I think it's brass is the, is the magic thing, right? Everything that will do automated sorting here um, is, it starts with a brass something or other. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to set up a copper farm for one thing, but those are pretty straightforward. Um, but that's going to have to wait until after I get villagers in place. Because I'm going to need all of the, all of the enchantments on the swords, right? The very least looting and mending and, you know, sweeping edge. Ah, but no, man, I w saw this, uh, sorting system. I mean, it's, it's really slick because, oops, because what you can do is you can add, um, filters to, um, what do they call them? Funnels? I think it is. And the, and then if you take a, an automated picker, it'll place things in the, in the funnels based on what's on the filters. And the filters have like, I don't know, 30 items that you can filter. So it's a lot simpler to set up than those big item filters. Like I've got over on, uh, uh, in the going solo world. Doing for items, too bad. Or for andesite, I think I'm doing all right. This is probably good enough to get started with, anyway. Out this, no, I had to go around. Which is fine. Also, I should mine a lot of this. That's a pretty block, and it can make pretty building blocks. Same with this limestone. This is this would be a really cool floor, I think. I have plans, <laughs> vague and undefined plans, but look at this cave though. Wouldn't this be awesome to build something in? Also that's underwater, but this is a, this would be a fun cave to uh, do stuff in. And it's right here by my base and, oh, do I have torches? Turn on the uh, light levels. All right. At the end of the cave? I am at the end of the cave. Awesome. Oh. Oh, I should not get that. I have a... I have a fortune pickaxe. I was... Uh, I was raiding... Um, well, raiding is not exactly the right word, but I was... Uh, I found a shipwreck, or not a shipwreck, a um, broken portal, and it had um, it had a gold Fortune Two pickaxe, which is not fabulous, but it's better than uh, not having fortune. So, how do I get down here? Oh, this way. Cool. I know things. I do. I totally know things. Um, like how to get out of the, there it is. I knew I had a path here somewhere. I've gotten out of there before. <laughs> uh, no, I need to set up my whole base actually, but there is something that's really, really cool. And I'm not entirely sure how I want to approach it. Yeah. Somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah. Um, one of the things you can do is basically build an, a, this big contraption and contraption is basically a definition for anything you can glue together. And I was thinking what might be cool, 
would be to <laughs> basically build um well the problem I was saying build my storage system into a big contraption and then I could just take it with me. But I don't think I can duplicate it. So because that would be weird. And so if I died while carrying it, I would lose everything in my sorting system. So maybe not. But maybe packing up a workshop. I could do something like that. That could be fun. All right. So let's see. I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. Ah, oh, you don't want to do it alone? I get you. This is... Create sparks my interest for a couple of reasons. One, it's not as all-encompassing as some of the big mod packs are, right? You play Sky Factory or... Remember, I was playing um, Ocean Block, right? Some of those. Where it's... It's the whole smash. You've got the Tinker's Tool Chest. You've got um, all of the stuff that just... It doesn't feel very Minecrafty to me. And what Create Mod does is, um, oh, I need some iron nuggets. What Create Mod does is, it adds all of this rotational stuff. Oh, not quite that much. It adds all this rotational stuff without entirely overriding, um, what Minecraft is, right? Okay, so I need to... Hang on, I've got to juggle. So I need a bunch of andesite alloy. Perfect. Cool. And we'll throw that in there. So it's, it's really cool to be able to set up things like um, water wheels and windmills and stuff that just sets up like this, it's a conveyor belt. It doesn't, all of my tools are the same. I still use hoppers, redstone is still a thing, but you know, none of that goes away and it's not overridden. But it, this adds, I think in a way that's super, super nice. So, all right, so what am I doing? Oh, right, I am crafting frames. Okay, so I'm gonna need a lot of sticks. All right. Yeah, turntable, cool. Um, sale. Probably, that's probably good. All right, so I've got iron, I've got that. Cool, let's go tear down what I've got here after I go to sleep and we'll see where this goes. It's bored when you're in single player? Yeah, I can understand that. It, the interaction could be fun. I, I, I liked that aspect of Roguecraft when I was there though I was rarely on the server at the same time as anyone else. Uh, but this has, has, this has sparked all of my automation stuff. <laughs> all of the, the reasons I like doing redstone. And this is definitely uh, hitting that for me. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. All right, and I guess I can scoop up that water. Cool. Oh, I need to go check, see where I've got a hoe. <sighs> All right. Oh, I've got so much stuff. Also, I have an itchy nose, which is not ideal, but it happens. So let's go ahead and drop off that iron. Um, don't need the water wheel for now. 
cool. Um, yeah, so I've got the windmill bearing. All right, that's good stuff. You know, I, I've thought about the server. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things I haven't had time to do, but It would be it would be kind of fun, so yeah. So we could chat a little bit more offline. Maybe something set up that's sort of an by invitation type thing. All right. So where do I want this to be? All right. Okay, so I think let's take this. Darn it, I'm confused. I don't like being confused. Um, so the windmill is going to go up, the bearing is going to turn things. Okay, cool. So let's get. All right. Okay, so I'm over here at my farm. I told tore down my old water wheel, Dealy Bob. I mean, it was a nice Dealy Bob, but I think I think I need a new Dealy Bob. So, and if there's one thing Create Mod is great for, it's making Dealy Bobs. Also, I think I'm gonna spread out here a little bit, give myself a little bit more room. So I'm gonna clear out some dirt here, and I'm gonna set up a new farm area. Maybe centered right about here, something like that. And we'll see what I can do as far as setting up a windmill and trying to, to grow and harvest some wheat. So let, let's see how this goes. It doesn't need to be complicated stuff. Right. So... <laughs> So how many times will I say dealy bobs in one sentence? Yes. All the dealy bobs. No, actually, you're not wrong. Um, as far as plugins, um, it wouldn't be too bad to set up like a fabric server with, uh, uh, with create and, uh, you know, if invitation only, you know, trusted people. So I wouldn't worry about things like, um, uh, like all of the anti-griefing stuff, you know, that type of thing. Um, and then just, I don't know, take it fairly simple, you know? I could see that. All right, so now if I do, let's see, I think, let's take that out now. I, of course, threw all of my uh, water in the chest because that's a thing that I do. Okay, so got some stuff there. Go ahead and throw the wool up here somewhere. Because um, I've got lots of sail, so. One of these, that one had food in it. Cool. Um, oh, right water that's the ticket all right yeah just something to interact with those yeah that that could be a thing yeah let's let's chat a little bit more off off stream here because I'm intrigued <laughs> I'm in sort of an experimental mood, you know what I mean? So, all right, so let's see. I need, um, oh, hey, I've got slabs, cool. Slabs, slabby slabbies, okay. All right, so that's gonna go there. Let's grab the windmill bearing. And that is gonna go, oops, I crouched, so it's facing the wrong way. Um, 
All right, so that's going to go that way. How does this work? So, ah, no, okay. No, yes, what? Huh? I'm confused. All right. So let's just put a couple of, uh, in empty head, let's put a couple of things on there. Let's try that again, this time with feeling. Okay. Um, does not include enough sail like blocks. Well, I thought there were. No. Let us again. Okay. Now, go away, seeds. Nobody likes you. What did I, you know, I just, I thought, okay, so right, so that's, right, so that goes there, so I should be able to just put a block in, and, oh, maybe these are backwards, that could be, oops, nope, nope, nope. I don't know that it actually matters, but. Oh, it's got, aha, minimum of eight. Read the message. Read the message, crunk. All right, so now. Uh, whoa. Okay, let's try getting this in the right direction. Maybe it'll be fine. All right. Okay, that's just fine. Sweet. That's super slow. That's fine. It's just a test, but that will work. Okay. Let's go ahead and undo that. Cool. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to run this out. Oh, I should grab a hoe while I'm thinking about it. Oh, ho, ho, your fields. Do I have a hoe? Well... I might not. <laughs> if only I had some iron that I could craft a hoe with. All right, I uh, have crafting table. Oh, wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna curse myself for not having that water with me here in a minute. All right, so here's the first round of crops. Um, get some melons out of the way. I don't know, any of you have problems with your melons being in the way? Uh, yeah. Occasionally they're just in the wrong place. I gotta get them moved, you know, that, it's just a problem sometimes. You just gotta, gotta move your melons. Yeah, yeah. This is all of the many blocks of iron. Yes, I have multiple stacks of iron blocks. I, sh I should be fine. I can make more than one hoe even if I wanted to. All right, so the way I want this to go is let's, let's actually move this up. Now... There are a couple things I need to figure out here before I go totally hog wild on this. <laughs> yes, yes, the, uh, hmm. yeah. Every once in a while, I'm kind of glad I don't have the sounds enabled, you know. 
Uh, actually, I don't want them to go out. I want them to go up. But okay, so now I'll have to add glue. But let's see now. I had. I thought maybe I put them back in the other I, I've been trying to stay marginally organized here and the problem is I'm trying to live out of two houses and I have not combined my storage yet because what I have is sort of temporary kind of so right now all my stuff is here in the bunker All right, let's go see if I've got it. Um, yeah, mechanical harvesters. Somebody's grumpy somewhere. Well, that's fine. They, as long as they're not grumpy in my bunker, we'll get along just fine. <sighs> I suppose I was sort of pushing the uh, family friendliness there, wasn't I? Um. <laughs> yep. Ah. All right. What time is it? Oh, heck, it's only nine in the morning. Forget sleeping. All right, so can I stick these things? All right, where's my shovel? All right, can I? No, they can only go on that way. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um. Yeah, fine. That that's that is a thing that can happen. All right. So. I wonder. Yep. <laughs> no, exactly. Inventory. It's totally a thing. Okay, yeah. Nope, but I can't attach, and that destroys the farmland anyway. Yeah, so I think these are going to have to attach to a solid block. I was kind of hoping I, I could attach them to grass, but... That's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. All right, I'm going to have to get under there and take the hoe to that that grass here in a little bit. But cuz I think what I want to do is actually make this um this field even larger. All right, kind of what I'm thinking is to take this maybe eight blocks or so wide. I think that would be cool. All right. <sighs> you know, some days. All right. So, and the cropland is all settled over there. So. Cool. The sheep are loud, but that's okay. All right. So let's go ahead and put the melons away. The melon slices. We'll grab some uh, other stuff. And... We'll uh, get a few more seeds here to finish planting this. Okay, because I think I've got a basic idea of how this is going to work. I think. But let's get these crops in and then I'll talk about it for the uh, benefit of all of the viewers of, of the video on YouTube later, right? Melon's just in the way all the time. All right. Oh, I also am going to need a um, chest. Uh, I had the hoe in the seed chest. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll be fine. All right, I think... I think I've got an idea of how this is supposed to work. So let me grab the rest of these sails here. 
So I'm going to run up some sails. Let's see. I, they don't have to be facing the same direction. I just think it's going to look better if they do. All right, so let me just run a few of these sails around. But the idea is, once I kick this thing on, in fact, I should probably get rid of those uh, melons, melon stems there. Once I kick this thing on, nothing is going to happen because I haven't glued it together yet. But once I've got it all glued in place, it should swing around and harvest all of my crops for me. Now, I'm... Oops, that's not where I want that to go at all. Um, one of the things I do have to get, though, is a chest to go on this to uh, pick up all of the crops or that it harvests. So, let's see what I can find for a chest. And then, we'll glue this thing and... Let's see how this goes. Um, I'm both scared and very excited. <laughs> I think this is going to be cool. <sighs> All right. So melon seeds can go back in there. Um, let's see. Yeah. I, I have a floating sail. I, yeah, I had one sitting on top of the the thing there I'll there we go I think everything is still attached to the block though so that's a plus okay sweet 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 okay so let's see now what fun and exciting things got the... oh chest that's what I was looking for now I have plenty of logs on me um, I was just looking to see Am I blind? Well, not today, I think, but... Um, okay, that's fine. I will take this, and I will craft many chests. Okay. All right, and I've got lots of dye done cooking. Cool. All right. So, what I want to do is let's grab a chest... And that's going to go there. Okay, so the chest is in place. Now, the idea here is you take your glue and we're going to glue all of this and all of that. And is this all glued together? I honestly don't know. I think it is. I think we're all gluey. Good news is the super glue actually has a fair amount of uses. So I'm not going to have nearly as much stuff as I'm going to need. So, or as I thought I was going to need. So let's turn this thing on. And okay, it's missing the corners and that's fine. Now it should catch some of this wheat over here. Yes, and it did. Now the cool thing is it replants when it's done. Uh, which is super awesome. While it's running here, let's... Oh, I don't have any seeds on me. That's annoying. But that's cool. So it looks like this is doing its thing. Let's go ahead and stop it. And yeah, so it collected wheat and some seeds. And when it stops, it uh, breaks the ground. So the idea is to never stop it. <laughs> Once it's running, is just always keep it running. But the next thing I'm going to have to do is collect all of the drops off of this. Um, also, as I mentioned, I think I want to make this a bit bigger. So, let's, uh, I'm going to have to craft up another handful of the uh, harvesters. We'll make the arm a little bit longer, and then we'll try to figure out how to get the stuff off the contraption while it's running. All right, that's a that's a good next step. <sighs> yeah, I have I have totally been blind today, so you know it's, it's a thing. 
I can. All right. Let's meander down here. One of the things I've thought about doing is going down this ladder uh, correctly. Now, one of the things I've thought about doing is uh, setting up the, the cogs and doubling the speed of this conveyor belt. The golems won't die any faster, but they'll get down to this end and then this will all run a little faster, which could be, which could be cool. Um, all right, so I need harvesters. And harvesters are alloy sheets and andesite casings. All right. Andesite casings are so weird to make. I want to just craft them, right? That would be the that would be the easy way, you would think. But you can't craft them. You have to you have to strip your logs and then you have to hit them with alloy. And when you do that, it turns into the the andesite casings. Which is cool, just kind of annoying. All right, so I've got andesite alloy. I need some sheets. This is why I've been smashing out so many iron sheets. Probably at a point I could probably disconnect the the uh, press there, but. For now, it's okay. All right. Nine more harvesters should should do it. Cool. <laughs> oh, yes. All of the blindness. It's okay. It's okay. We can totally do this. All right. So, the way this should work. All right, and I am going to need to get more seeds, but I think I've got a bunch of them in storage, so we should be okay there. All right, now I want this to go out. So right now it's eight blocks. I want to go out further. All right, so if I if I go here, I don't have a bucket. Uh, I knew that was going to be annoying. All right, bucket, 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 bucket. Ah, uh, has buckets. Also, have lots of seeds, and you know the wooden hoe I totally overlooked. Yep, it's a thing. All right, so I'm going to have to be sure I get water where I need it. Um, it would be really nice if I had a, well, you know, I guess I can get two water buckets. That's okay. It would be really nice if I had, um, oops, no, there, better, uh, light source block, you know, glowstone blocks or, uh, something fun like that, but I don't. Darn it. Uh, something that I could, you know, just kind of fill in, place under the water here for, for light, but I don't have anything like that, so. Light is going to be a little bit of a problem. Kind of. I suppose I could run something above the farm and just put lights on that. I guess that would make sense. Okay, so I'm coming out. I think if I come out that far, um, I have dirt. Okay, <laughs> that. Wow, I uh, I done screw that up big time. Axe. There we go. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some dirt here, and I'm gonna have to grab some more because that is not going to cut it. Actually, it's not going to uh, do so hot on this side either now that it comes to to uh, mentioning it. 
You know, it was funny. I started this series a few days or a couple of weeks ago, right? And not long after my first video went live, Tango Tech announced that he was starting a new Create Mod series with uh, Corrales, Good Times with Scar, uh, B00, and ZF, I think. And that's been enlightening. <laughs> it's like, there are things you can do that I had no clue you could do. And it's kind of cool. All right, so. All right, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I know I just uh, plowed that. But. Okay, so that means this whole farm is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we're coming out to here. All right, cool. And there goes my shovel. Okay. Oh yeah, B dubs and Corrales. Oh, that's that's gonna be insane. Uh, B dubs just had his video come out here today, uh, this afternoon, I think. And he's already doing some fun stuff with uh, with the mod. Partly, they also have some extra decorative stuff that he's especially excited about. He and Scar are all about some of the uh, decorative blocks. Um. I haven't seen what Corrales has been building yet. He showed up in a couple of the videos, but it was more like he was there as opposed to his what he was building. All right, we have to get a new axe here soon. This is one of the reasons I build an iron farm so fast, is so that I can get, um, so I can get on the iron tool bandwagon. I do want to collect all that wood, too. I don't like it sitting there, but it's going to have to wait. All right. Cool. So this is all going to come this way. I think I'm good. Oh, it's going to have all sorts of problems for my sheep. So that's awesome. Um, oh, yeah. Definitely going to have to move the sheep. Ah, uh, but Scar had all sorts of fun. He um he built a house on wheels. He he built his whole house, put it on train tracks, and the whole thing moves. It's a little crazy. Cool in the best way, but also crazy. All right, I'm I'm gonna have to move these sheep. This is not going to. Not going to work until I do. All right. And I'm going to have to get a lot lot more of this field plowed. But. All right. So let's uh, make a little inventory space and figure out what I can do with. Uh, I don't know. Something. Yep. That was it. That was just a little bit of inventory space. Man. You would think. Uh, my monitor is flipping out again. Ah, oh, that's is. This is not good. I have got to get a replacement or something for my switch here. My uh, KVM or not KVM uh, HDMI switcher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Cool. That'll free up some space too. Now, I need, you know, I probably had some fence. It's probably over in my uh, other house, but it's, this is fine. This is totally fine. All right, so let's 
Let's see. I think... I think what I'm going to do is let's just move these sheep out to here. Okay? I have to move the sheep and I have to move the chickens. But I think this is going to work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kraus has been around forever. So, yeah. It's... Um, Oh man. So I'm I'm looking forward to see what seeing what they do. Um he said B dubs has already been having fun with some of the new blocks and things and even Scar, who's not exactly the most uh technical of players, has been having all sorts of fun with the the rotational aspects of Create Mod. Because he's been able to build out some fun stuff. I have now locked myself in. This is uh, not how that was supposed to happen. All right. Let's grab a little bit of wheat. All right. And now it is time. Yes, friends, it is time to not kill sheep. Okay. All right. Come here, gang. That's right. The sheep are just going to sit there stupidly, and that's okay. They can sit there and be stupid. I'm okay with that for now. Oops. I just fed... Uh, I fed them the wheat. <laughs> Speaking of being stupid. Alright. This is what happens. This is my offhand. It's my fault. I admit it. All right, come on, you too. That's right. I might have to just lose a couple of the sheep. Oh, hey, cool. Nope, 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 you stay. Well, I feel like an idiot. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but... Uh... Okay, and can I... There it is. Okay, cool. Um... Of a torch, yes. Oops. All right, go ahead and sleep. And I'll need to get some more water to irrigate the rest of the field. But I think this is going to work. I think <laughs> ultimately this is going to be great. Yeah, it's funny. I was watching um, Exuma. Sumavoid was had put out a video here the other day that was um or it actually was like a three part series on the history of Hermitcraft. And I'd seen some of those comments between Doc M seventy seven and B dubs and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, when we were playing on this server and I hadn't realized how old some of those SMPs were that they were talking about. Uh Minecraft and um, some of those others, you know? Alright. Just, uh, I really don't care about the sheep that are on the chicken side of the world here. But, okay. There we go. There we go. I think that's all of them. Yeah, yeah, well, and it was Minecraft, what, Exum was saying that Minecraft started the, um, oh, the hardcore as as a thing. It was because of Minecraft, um, that hardcore mode exists in Minecraft, which was kind of crazy to think about. Yeah, and so it's just, uh, okay, so we need some water. I don't need any more eggs. Um, so, yeah, some of that was fascinating for just to, uh, just to see all that fun stuff that they were doing, you know? All right, so I tore out the gates, and that's fine. I need to go take out the rest of the fences. Time is 
crates. Oh, right. I needed to craft an axe. That was the... This is the reason we're here today, is for the axe gathering goodness. Yeah, so it's like... So I was watching some of these... Some of these videos, like, holy cow. I mean, I knew these guys had been friends for a while. I just hadn't realized what a while meant. <laughs> All right, so... I really should have uh, maybe marked where that water was right here, right in front of this. Uh... Yep, there it is. Cool. All right, so we're coming out this way. It's 13 blocks, right? So one, two, well, let's count it from over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, so this is where I need to go. Obviously, this is all going to die because of there's no water there, but people play as King of the Ladder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember uh, I said Izuma actually had that in his, his video. They had been uh, her trying to climb a ladder for something else. They kept knocking each other off of it. Yep. Two, three, four. One, two... Four. To right there. All right. Nice. Very nice. All right. So now we'll just... Uh, it's very possible I'm going to have to uh, shift my... shift my sheep in just one more block <laughs> which is I guess it's okay I could do that just uh... okay all right all right cool there we go we got it we got it if you guys would uh, move that would be awesome yeah just come on down this way you'll, you'll love it over here or, you know, not. That's okay, too. Alright. Yes, that's right. The the pillared house. Yes. All sorts of zaniness. <laughs> Watch that. So, oh, yeah. This is absolutely what servers are. Because... You know, the first servers I ever saw actually were, you know, Hermitcraft, actually. Uh, no, it's not. It was uh, Achievement Hunter. It was the first time I'd, I'd seen people playing Minecraft together. Heck, I think it's the first time I'd seen people playing Minecraft. <laughs> All right. Two, three, four. So basically, this line lined up with the machine should be right here. Here. Right there. And yeah, that was. It was. Uh, well, that's what got me into Minecraft. Actually, was was watching uh, Achievement Hunter and and while I don't I don't watch their Minecraft stuff anymore because. They're more into Minecraft mini games and stuff, and that's not really my jam. But also, I could do with a lo little bit less of the uh, swearing. But still, um, okay, I'm gonna need all of the seeds in a minute. Might as well craft another hoe while I'm here. Dinnerbo name effect was born from Minecraft too. Oh, okay, yeah. It was built, had a build that spawned the dinner of bone flipped upside down. Gotcha. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's amazing how much of the early Minecraft stuff actually came from the community. Right? Wow. I was thinking I had... I don't know why. Maybe it's something with the light. 
Oh, I, I needed dirt. That was the other thing. Just feels like it's darker than it is. All right. It's not like I'm playing with shaders, so. Um, I also need to come out this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So out to that block. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There. Of course, it would help if I had water. So, yeah, it's, whoa, that's not how that was supposed to work. Okay, okay. It's... All right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right there. Cool. And then, let's see, I think I need to, to do this on the other side here, too. Oh, right, the whole, right, I remember there, excuse me, was saying something about that. Oh, yeah, the tinted glass comes from this, right? Oh, right, oh, no, the other April Fool's, the more recent one, yeah, but references to the big YouTubers and stuff, yep. Oh, man, yeah, Mojang's done some really cool stuff with the community. They were, they've been, uh... <laughs> It's been pretty cool to see, actually. Two, three, four, two, three, four. And then, so this should be water here. And that should be dirt. And then, let's see. This comes out. Uh, oh, you what is the color glass one? Okay. Yeah, see, I'm all of the Minecraft lore. lore and the history and all that fun stuff. I'm, when it comes down to it, I am kind of a kind of a noob when it comes to Minecraft, you know? Yes, I've been playing since 2015, but I wasn't really part of the cu Minecraft culture until uh, well, until much later. Really, it wasn't until I started getting into uh, Hermitcraft and all of their, uh, all of their shenanigans, because that's that exposed me to all of the other. Um, I don't want to say all the other SMPs, but the fact that there were other SMPs. <sighs> all right, this is going to take forever and a day to harvest, but I just leave that on so I'm ready to record again. Or to harvest to uh, mine. Yep. Oh, the coal block. Yeah. It's one of the things I... Minecraft... Mojang used to put out a lot of big changes, I guess, with, um, with their updates. And it's felt like recently their changes haven't been nearly as, as impressive. Start watching on their their second world. Okay, yeah. And I'm kind kind of hoping that maybe with some of the newer things that they've been working on, uh, maybe they might. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say learn or something. That's kind of wrong, but. Maybe kind of go back to, hey, we are, uh, we actually, we'll pay attention to how the, the, the players are actually playing the game and, you know, try to build a little bit more off of some of those things. I don't know. I, it, that, that really gives Minecraft and Mojang, it really kind of, I don't know how I want to say it. it. It sort of treats them unfairly to say it that way. But hearing what a lot of the players have been talking about and asking for, me too to some extent, um, 
things like inventory updates and things like that. I would hope that Mojang would take a little more time and deal with some of that, but I also know that anything they add, they have to add twice because they've got to add, add it to Bedrock Edition too, so. I don't know. They were more community involved. That's probably a good way of, of putting it. And again, I don't want to say they haven't been, because they have, but they were they were smaller. It was easier for them to be more responsive to the community. And maybe that's the right way of putting it. Is I don't want to say that they've been unresponsive to the community. Again, that would be unfair. But they're not as uh, they're not as nimble a company as they used to be. And so I think that's a little bit of a, a problem for them. Um, at least as far as, you know, behaving like they were back in the day, right? You know, they can't just suddenly decide, oh yeah, we're just going to add this. Which is why I haven't been real thrilled with the mob votes, for example. That just feels like asking for trouble. Uh, not that the mobs they've added haven't been cute, but the player base has grown up so much more too. Yeah, accused of favoritism. Yeah, right. If they add, if they decide to add something because Good Times with Scar asks for it, right, or Mumbo Jumbo or Green or any of the hermits really, but um, those being some of the biggest players or Dream, right. That really, that could really set a weird precedent. I'm kind of worried about where my house is. <laughs> I may have to tear this house down just to make this work. I guess we'll find out. Um, I do need to, to add some water here. So I've got water under here. So coming out this way somewhere, right there. Well, that's not where that water goes. Let's try it there. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this uh, swings when I turn it on. If nothing else, it's going to be hilarious for the video. <laughs> but I think we might be okay. This moves in a circle. And my house is sort of in the in the crop circle so this might be okay but again if it's not we'll laugh about it when the video starts all right so let's get my glue all right do i have everything in place other than the fact i haven't planted the field we're okay so let's go ahead and get all right i have the fields all plowed i don't have the all the seeds and stuff in I did come over here and add a bunch of a bunch of more blocks, a bunch more harvesters. Now, here's the fun. Is this thing actually going to run and is it going to hit my house? <laughs> this these are questions I should uh I would love to have answers to. All right. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, that is sweet. And I can uh, plow this while the arm is... Okay, move, move, move. Don't get run over by the harvester. Oh, it actually... Yeah, it does kind of clip the house, but it goes through it, so... This is good. Yeah, pretty much anything on the outside is not going to get hit by the harvester. And coming over there... Oh, it just misses! <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> oh, that is great. Okay, cool. So this is going to come through and it looks like I can add a few blocks here so I can expand the farmland this way just a little bit. And nice. And so when this swings by, it's... Oh, yeah. 
my house is in the perfect position right here. So, sweet. You know, in real life, farmers will lease out the corners of their, their property where their crop circles uh, don't hit, you know? It's the same sort of thing, you know? We'll just live in the corner of the crop circle. It's all good. <laughs> you want to see the house demoing? Yeah, I think at worst it would stop or it would um, just clip through the house. I think either of those things would be how this would work. All right, so let's get as... All right, let's get as much of the seeds as I can. Um, yeah, oops. Nope, I need it to go this way. So I'm going to have to plant this whole field, which is going to be great. All right. Now, it's what I really like about the harvester is it will replant, right? So everything it harvests gets replanted. So I don't, don't have to worry about that. I do want to get this going. Now, while it's running, uh, while it's running, it doesn't count as a solid block. So it's not uh, it's not doing any damage to the, the crops, which is just great. Big fan of that. Uh, let's not get run over. Now, one of the cool things about this mod uh, is it has automatic um, saws as well. So you could um, it's you could set it up to automatically harvest trees and things. Oops, I'm gonna get. All right, I think it'll be interesting to see. I think how far I out I'm gonna have to go, and what I plant and what gets missed, but. So yeah, I've got some plans for some uh, tree farms and things here in the future, but. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be so cool. Yeah. Okay, time to run for my life and get a few more seeds. Yeah, see these ones are gonna get missed. And that's okay. That is just fine. I'll uh, worry about those ones later. But this thing really moves, man. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and chase the, chase the arm around, I guess. All right. Now, what's cool is it can push you around. You can even craft seats, I guess, and ride your machines. That that could be fun later. Uh, this is probably not a machine, I think, that I need to be riding, but I think there are others that that is totally going to be a thing. Yeah, and that's true. I did put 32 sails on it. That side's not moving too fast, but that end, totally moving. <laughs> it is... It's got some some uh, some speed to it when it gets down to that end. Ooh, that that is cool. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. <sighs> okay, ducky. Now I think it can also harvest um, melons, and those harvesters also work on. I don't know if they work on sugarcane or if they uh, they work on kelp. I think it's a yes in both of those cases, but I haven't uh, I actually haven't experimented with it. Okay, some of that's not going to get harvested, but it's going to look cool. Actually, once I find out where the actual circle is, I may mark it and. Uh, do other things with the, the land, but for now, geez, am I out of seeds already? Cool. 
All right, um, let's see what else I have in this store here. Oh yeah, I've got lots. One of these chests, there it is, had one more seed. Oh yeah, this is, this is fun. I actually really like the, this is, really like the automation. Right, I was think I think I was mentioning that before that one of the things I've really come to love in Minecraft is farming. You know, building the redstone contraptions to automate the resource gathering and stuff. And really enjoyed this. That's true. I should have plenty of seeds in the chest. So, though so give that a look here in a minute. Plus, I've got all of this wheat just sort of hanging out over here, too, so. All right. So, I should have a bunch more to plant over this way. Um, I think it is. I don't think these are fully grown yet. Yeah, these are all... I think one step away from being full. Yep, so it is, it's just not quite there yet. Okay. So go ahead and spread all spread the love. Spread the CD CD love. Which uh maybe that's not something I want recorded on YouTube. Yep, they're close though. They're they were really close to being full, so Alright. Oh, I've got some I've got some fun there's some things you can do in um create that allows you to do auto crafting, which is kinda cool. Alright, let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, lots of seeds. Oops, of course I can't uh, start the machine again because I need an empty hand. All right. And anytime I stop it, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna have to replant this in a little bit, but let's, uh, uh, because what I'm gonna have to do is uh, get a collection system onto it. But, yeah, this is going to work out great. All right. Okay, so I've got the field mostly planted. Um, I had to stop the machine at one point to, to get a few more seeds, and it broke all of this farmland. Um, I'm going to have to stop it again here in a minute to uh, add a collection system. So I'll, I'll wait to plow that here and and replant that for when I'm done, but this is great. It's harvesting all my wheat for me. This is gonna give me plenty. So let's figure out how to make a sorting, uh, sorting system, a collection system work. And there are a couple of things. So let's see what I need to make that happen. All right, so let's see now. There is, I think it's, no. Um, let's just jump. It's one of the create mod th tags here. And it is, that's portable storage interface. That's what I need. And that is a chute and an andesite casing. Okay, and that's iron and iron sheets. Okay, cool. Uh, there are things I like about having the REI, which is like JEI, but for fabric. Um, but 
there are parts of it that get kind of annoying, you know? All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so I don't need all of these seeds, but I'll hang on to a stack just so that I can um, do those later. Um, I do need... You know, it's kind of nice. Uh, I guess I'm getting fish here. Uh, <laughs> there they come. All right. Just looking a little worried there for a minute. All right, so I need that. I've got that. All right, so I need to craft um, a couple of shoots. All right, I have lots of shoots. Awesome. Um, and then I need to craft up some other stuff. Let's offload a bunch of this iron that I don't need now. Um, and what I need is two of those. All right, and then I've got some chests and I've got some other things. Okay. All right, so let's get back up here and we'll add these to the, the contraption here and just See if, see how this works. It's totally a thing, uh, apparently, to, to make all of this work. So, <laughs> here's, here's hoping. Okay, so I've got the machine stopped. And I need to add what is apparently this guy. Portable storage interface. Which, um, I guess I had a wrench. I could have just turned it. Goes this way. So, and I'm going to have to glue that on because glue is a thing. Okay, so that should now stick. The next thing I need to do is add another one here. And I guess you need a uh, space between it or something, uh, which is fun, I guess. Um... Now, the way these things work, and I'm telling you because I have no clue, so we're going to just pull up the ponder, right? You've got this thing floating out here. You have the portable storage dealy bob here. So how does this end work? Right, you had the second portable storage thing. It kissy kissy. And then how does, what does this offload into? Um, okay. Oh, I need a, okay. That's cool. So I'm going to need a tunnel or a funnel or whatever this is. What is that? That is a, it's a thing. It's portable storage. It's not going to tell me what that is. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> that That's fine. All right. Cool. But I think I can figure that out so let's um let's get what i need here i think it's gonna be a funnel okay i think it's gonna be a funnel and if not it will yell at me but so i think i have no idea how this is going to work i honestly i was gonna say oh i think this is gonna be quick and easy but now that I'm looking at this, I'm not entirely sure. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and test a couple of things and we'll come back and show you what I've got, hopefully when it's working. Okay. All right. So the way this is supposed to go in, I guess, is... Oh, yes, the <laughs> the fancy recording icon. Yep. Yep, I thought that was kind of nice as a, uh, just a visual, yep, I am recording. You know, as a, okay, so what I might have to do, okay, and that's going the wrong way, so we need the wrench, so it's going out, and then let's, Oh, right. I think I see how this is going to work. Is let's take our handy dandy chests. 
And I think what I can do is connect a, a shoot. Yeah. Which will then drain into the chest, right? I think. So if I throw... Oh, and I got the vertical logistics advancement. Okay, cool. Right, so things will fall into the chute and end up in the chest. Okay, cool. So let's sleep and we'll turn the machine on and see if this works. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be an interesting thing. Yeah, no, actually, Sprite, it was one of those suggestions you had made a while back was because I'm recording and streaming at the same time was a way to let you know that, yes, I'm recording. And so they may not be quite as responsive to chat while that's happening, right? So, yeah. Okay, so right now the machine has some wheat. It's got some seeds in there. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to turn this thing on. All right, so around and around it goes. So the, there goes the portable dealy bob with it. I don't think it has to be connected to the chest. Now, what should happen is it's going to come over here. It's going to stop. Yep, I got the airport aesthetic. I got the drive-by exchange. Right, and you can see the stuff sort of falling out and loading up into the chest. Awesome. Now, apparently, if you get like a brass funnel, something like that, this will offload in like stacks instead of individually. Uh, but this is what I've got for now. So, and honestly, that might be enough. Okay, right now it's, it's got a lot because it was just storing up while it was spinning. But I think this is, oh, right. I can't look at it while it's running. Okay, cool. So that's going to unload. It's hitting the seeds now. Right, there we go, right? The 64 wheat, that's, or the stack plus some, there comes all the seeds. And, okay, and that, and there it goes. Awesome, so now what should happen, anytime it harvests, and I think there's some, uh, I think there's some full wheats, or there may, may be some full wheats. Yeah, anytime it harvests, It'll drop off what it gets and continue on its way. And now while this is a large field, I don't think I really need to worry about it being so extra huge that what I what I have is going to be too slow. So I'm going to go ahead and replant this section of the of the farm that the arm sits on. But ultimately, I think. I think this is going to work out nicely. Yep, just stops for a minute, plays kissy-kissy with the dumpster here, and we've got all of our seeds. Oh, this is, this is very, very awesome. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Ah, <sighs> okay. This is, this is cool. I now have... An automated wheat farm. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, cool. Now, I think, just because this is going to be a little bit... I think this is going to fill up relatively quickly. I mean, I could put more storage on it, too, but... Um, let's... Oops, that's not what I wanted to put there. Okay, now, one of the cool things here about shoots is that they move, they move things in, like, blocks of 16. <laughs> so, this thing is going to offload pretty quickly. In fact, let's change this a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take that out put a chest there and then we'll do one there grab another chute to go in there and there we go 
We'll just offload that. And that splits, you know, roughly even. Cool. Plus, it was offloading things anyway. So, all right, cool. It may not be totally even, and that's fine. Um, this will fill up, and then that one. But I've got plenty of storage now. And so, this should, this should work beautifully. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. All right, cool. And my sheep are over here being all excited. Oh, it's nice because, yeah, you came in, I was mid-record. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, it's, I think it's, it is. It's a good visual thing to just show people who drop in. That, yep. I am recording. So, no, it's, I'm, there are a couple of those types of things. I'm just trying to be. A little bit more uh, audience friendly, right? I am looking forward to adding some of the uh, interaction stuff that was that I had on Twitch. Um, adding that to YouTube, I just haven't taken the time to add some of those features to mix it up on the whole uh, on the YouTube side of things. Ah, but when it's live. When they come out of beta, then I'll actually be able to do cool things like uh, you'll be able to link your accounts and so all of your tickets will transfer over automatically and all that good stuff. It's going to be awesome. Sweet. Now, I'm actually curious. Do, I could add I could add some more onboard storage. Right? I could just fill that sucker up with chests. And yes, it'll it'll output whatever it's got coming over here, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but for now, <laughs> you want your many thousand tickets. Yep. You will get them. You will get them. There is, there is absolutely a way to link those accounts, but I can't, I can't do that linkage yet because all of the, all of the Twitch data is over in the, uh, my regular mix it up app and then the YouTube app is separate. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, just going to have to wait until it, till the preview when they merge YouTube support in for realsies. All right, cool. But for now we've got ourselves a nice combine harvester. And also just for those who are curious, because I know you're all curious. This doesn't kill me. You know, it uh, pushes me around, but it doesn't kill me. So <laughs> this is not a mob grinder. But uh, yeah. All right. Off to do some testing and just see how it works. Oh, since I've got a hoe real quick. Uh, so do some testing and see how this works with uh, with melons and pumpkins and stuff. Okay, let's try the right tool. Go ahead and break that bed for now. All right. Yep, yep. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's a little bit... No, you don't get to go in there. Get out of this. Let me get out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you're to, so just a little status update. MIU is, um, they've widened their closed beta. So they're, they're adding a lot more people into it now, which is cool. And then, um, they're testing API limits and just trying to see how many users they can actually support with their current API limits um, so that, because when they hit the limit, it stops for everybody. 
because that's the way YouTube works and it's stupid. Um, rather than allowing a per user limit, no, it's just the app has a limit. So they're, they're doing those types of load tests to, to see how the, how well the, they're holding up with their current limits before they then grow out to the next, um, next wave of users, but they just start, brought in a whole new wave of new YouTube testers. So that's, that's really cool. So I'm hoping soon, maybe within the next, uh, next month or so, they'll add it to preview. I don't know. They haven't said, but the, the chatter on the back end is that it could be, could be coming sooner rather than later, which I'm excited for Cause I'd like to, get back to only running one, yeah, one bot. Yeah, soon TM, absolutely. Because yeah, I've got two copies of Mix It Up running right now. It's actually fun. If you're on Twitch, a little bit before stream time, if you go to my my old Twitch channel, you'll see me drop a couple of Twitch commands because <laughs> that's how I set the, like the title card um, text and that type of thing. I just don't have any of that set up yet because um, all of the overlays are still set up with the Twitch bot. And once I get, once they bring YouTube into the preview, then I can start doing some of the cool overlay things, um, which is going to be cool. So, so I'm not going to tell you that if you go over to Twitch and redeem channel points over there that it will have that you'll see something pop up on YouTube. Uh, but, uh, cause that would probably be wrong and deceptive um, to, to Twitch, but you know, it probably would work. <laughs> uh, okay, so cool. So what's the next step then? Um, I've got some wheat harvesting here, which is cool. Um, I've got cactus going here, but I need to, I need to mill the cactus. So one of the cool things that you can do, I was just setting this up for, for testing the other day, is if you drop cactus into a mill, oops, actually has to go in the mill, um, the mill will grind it into, eventually, please. Did you grind it? Oh. I thought that it worked. All right, hang on. Oh, yeah, it did. There it is. It grinds it into dye, so I don't have to smelt it. I could just take the stack of cactus here, throw it into the mill, and eventually this will just uh, grind out all this stuff. <laughs> the Twitch redeems do work. Yep. <laughs> ah. I wasn't watching and I didn't hear, so if something popped up, I... Uh... I was paying attention to my mill. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah. So I'm not. Yes. Yeah, so there we go. Got all sorts of green dye. Actually, I got a lot of green dye because sometimes, and this is one of the the fun things, right? So you mill this, and milling it, you get two dye per cactus, which is more than you get through smelting. And sometimes you get a third. So this is, uh, this is cool since I need the green dye, right? To make, cause I need to make lime green dye. And then I can take all of that and make some other stuff. So slime balls, which I need for all sorts of stuff. Glue, for example. <laughs> so, 
So nice. So I can have an automatic slime factory, which is going to be awesome. It's going to take a little extra work, but I think that's going to be great. So what I want to do uh, before the card clap, Minecraft dance, headbang, and thumbs up. Nice. Yep. Problem is that that's, that shows up in a window sort of over off on the side. I don't see it as... <laughs> Um, and I, I don't see the redeems because I'm not on, on Twitch. So <laughs> I suppose actually I could, cause I, I have all of this that d goes to a log channel. How to offend women in five syllables or less. Ah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so yes. So yes, you can still play with the stream. You just have to do it over on Twitch while watching on YouTube. It's really convoluted. <laughs> Uh, but oh <laughs> uh, yeah so anyway what I'm thinking of doing is setting up a wheat farm so I can grind the wheat into wheat powder and then I forgot what I have to do to make dough um, there's a way I can automate that too um there it is. So dough, it's... I could blow water, blow it past water. That might be the easiest way to do it. I could also mix it, but just fanning it with water would probably be the easiest thing. <laughs> That's right. You can test these things. It's all good. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I can automate. I can take the wheat, throw it into a mixer, and get the flour. And what is that? I did not... I didn't see what that was. <laughs> oh, hey, you're, you're resub. <laughs> nice. Yes, you still have it. That's right. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> All the fun. Ah, uh, but yes. So I can take the wheat, wheat, mill it into flour, wash it into dough. And then I think if I can, right. So then it's, yeah. And then I can take the dough and lime green dye into a mixer and get slime balls. So there's this whole multi-step process that I can work through and get slime production automatically. The combination of cactus farm, wheat farm, and... Uh, bone meal farm, which the wheat farm actually I I could compost the seeds, but I could also mill bones. I think I can mill bones into uh, bone meal. Yeah, so bone meal. Yeah, I could just throw bones into the into the mill so and get get that that way. And the white dye, I can take the bone meal into another mill. So, but occasionally I'm going to get some things like light gray dye. So I'm going to have to set up some filters and stuff to make all of this work too. But it's going to be cool. And I'm getting a lot of cactus. <laughs> nice. So, so don't need this anymore. Cool. Um, I should make a few more torches. Partly to uh, put around the farm here. Not that this actually needs a lot of uh, light. I just really could do without having creepers and things just sort of show up here, right? Just, uh, just a, you know, thought. Okay, and I really should light up around the farm over here, too. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so... Just to kind of be sure the there's a little bit more light coming around the outside of the farm. Yeah, it keeps... 
keep saying is happy, right? Oh, I should get out of the way so that I can go kissy kissy and drop off some stuff. All right, and then I have dirt. I have dirt. And so coming right down here, there we go. There's a little more light. Oh, this is going to work out great. I, I do need to go caving at some point because I probably should pick up some redstone or something here in the not too distant future, but Also, you know, I could always use more andesite, apparently, so. All right, nice. So this is, this is going to work out. Just throw a little more light up there. And I should have enough light. It's not perfect. Oh. Looks like there are a couple of spots that I missed just uh, just while I was planting. I suppose it's possible that it's gonna that it misses some things too. But howdy, Kyle! Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day today. It's great to have you here. All right, nice, 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 nice. All right, I'm gonna sleep because it's getting dark. I'm just excited I got something to actually work. <laughs> I was one thing to set up the conveyor belt for the iron farm, but to actually build a contraption that, that works is exciting. <laughs> I'm a total create noob, so this, this is... So this is fun. All right, so... <sighs> so looking at things that I need to do here soon... I do need a mob farm anyway, because I need string, I need gunpowder, um, and I need bones, because I need bone meal, so. But mostly string and, and gunpowder. Actually, even just mostly string, so I can build dispensers and things. So, I think, since I've got the... So, I've got the greenery farm here, the cactus farm. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take advantage of the ocean and build the mob farm up here and just sort of... Is that a... Oh, that is a sunken ship out there. Cool. Um, do I have full iron armor? I do. I'm not wearing the helmet because I've got goggles on, but... Uh, I need to... I need to set up a villager trading hall too, so I can go start getting diamond tools and things. I hate mining for diamonds. It is such a waste of time. Yep. Oh yeah, my iron farm is chugging along beautifully over there. But yeah, if I build out a mob farm up here, and I was thinking of a, just doing a flushing farm, but to do that I need redstone, so... Um... I'll probably not do that. I'll probably just build j just a uh, just sort of the, one of those classic um, plus shaped ones. Oh yeah, going to the Nether and trade with piglins. Yeah, that's a thing. I need um I need a diamond to get obsidian though, and or I need to find a good uh, source of lava. I don't have either of those things yet. Got half a portal. So I guess that's a thing, <laughs> but yep. So I'll have to, the piglin stuff's going to have to wait for a little bit and piglin bartering is insane. I love it, but it's insane. <laughs> Back on my, uh, in my vanilla solo world, I've got a 196, uh, piglin bartering farm. That thing goes really fast. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've got... I'm not trying to speed run things, so I'm not in a huge hurry. But I do need to get a, a portal set up so that I can get into into the nether and get uh, warts and all those other redstone-y bits that I can't get in the overworld. 
All right, cool. Now, just I, since I only have a few more minutes of stream left, um, I here's sort of my long-term plan. I've got some farms I want to set up there. I also should to build out some automated tree farms. Uh, but this area is where I'm going to actually build my main base and my villager trading hall. So it's going to come out this way, locale. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to fill this bowl here, this little bit of a valley. And then I want to connect down into this cave. I was in here earlier the, the stream uh, collecting andesite, right? But I want to then connect down into this cave and maybe build out some stuff in here. I don't know what, but some something will be cool there. I haven't, I haven't figured out any of the creative side of any of this stuff. It's like, what do I want to build? I don't know. Uh, uh, there's going to be a building here somewhere. So that's sort of the idea. Now, how crazy I get with a trading hall, I don't know. Um, as always, I need a zillion clerics for redstone and um, a bunch of irony guys so I can sell the iron from the iron farm. But, and then of course the librarians for all the mending stuff. So, you know, mending and unbreaking and all the cool enchantments. I don't think I'm going to get too crazy with them, though. I think I'm just going to get the the handful of enchantments I just always need, right? So, there goes another iron golem. Yeah, this this farm, it's it's crazy. I really need to add more storage to it because it is it's a little bit nuts when it comes down to it. Um, it's yeah, I'm starting to, to fill up here. We may find a mob spawner. Yeah. That would be nice. Um, a spider spawner would be especially helpful. Again, for the string, but... I can get spiders from a, a general mob farm, so... It's a lot less effort. I mean, I don't get the XP from it. You know, but... So, so that's a thing, but. Okay, so I should really offload a few more of my bits of junk here while I'm uh, doing all of this fun conversion. I don't know why those don't stack. I managed to break one of those in a weird way, and it uh, that is not stacking. Actually, what would be kind of nice would be to find a zombie spawner um, so I can hook it up to a copper farm. So, uh, I can, copper is apparently actually useful here in, in Create Mod uh, because you use it to to make um, to make brass. So the more copper I can get, the the happier and easier it's going to be to make all the brass tools and stuff. Oh, the skelly spawner? Yeah. Again, if I just set up a general mob farm, um, those things are... They're not hard. They just take a lot of blocks. Um, and that's said it would be really helpful. See, it's sort of a chicken and egg thing, right? If I can get some... If I can get into the nether and get some... Um, quartz, some redstone, I could build a uh, flushing mob farm. You know, th those take almost no time at all. Um, I say that. They take a couple of hours to build. Um, but even without it, a general mob farm is fairly quick and easy. It's just a matter of getting myself up and down. Which, I think, Create Mod could actually make that even easier, so... <laughs> Some things to uh, to consider as I uh, build things out, but uh, so yeah, some of that stuff is is easy. 
Oh, yeah, bone blocks and then... A, yeah, there's there's plenty of ways of getting bone meal. I've... The, uh... Once I... Once I get um, some brass funnels and I can start sorting things, um, taking a wheat farm or taking the bones out of a mob farm and just running them through a mill, that'll give me bone meal automatically. It's going to be... A lot of this is... It's not hard to do. It's just going to take a little bit of time to get the resources and build up the machinery. Uh, but I'm excited because I've never done any of that automation here in Create's or that create gives me. So I'm looking forward to playing with all that stuff. That's that that's good stuff. Plus, heck, I've got a cactus farm. I think I can feed cactus into a composter if I get really excited about things. And heck, I've got an iron farm. I've been feeding poppies into a composter too. So bone meal is not that big a deal. Um, I just want to automate some of the process so I can basically build a um, slime factory because I and I need white dye for that so so yeah good stuff all right well it is just about time for me to shut down so let me get over here we'll re I'll record the outro for the uh, for the video and then we'll close up with the stream all right so let's go ahead oops get the uh, right view here there we go there we go it's uh it's a thing yeah grind drowns actually um drowns don't give gold they give copper yeah there's a enx04 has a really nice uh copper farm design let me record this outro and we'll talk a little bit more here And that is going to be it for the video today. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me as I learn the might and power of windmills because they are awesome and amazing, just like you and everyone else who hits the like button and subscribes and turns on notifications. Y'all are great and awesome. And uh, I'll see you next time. And until then, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off. All right. And that is the end of the video. Okay. Oh, of course, this is... Got to hit the right buttons here. There we go. Ah, monsters nearby. I know there are monsters nearby. That's why I'm inside. Ah, that's all right. <laughs> I'll just pause. So this, this is a, actually 18.2. So do I still drop gold in this one? I think they, they drop copper. I don't think that was a 119 change. I think that was a 118 change. I'll have to double check. I'll have to double check. I've, I've, I've forgotten where that transition is. If it's, if it's a 119 change, then... Um, then my copper farm idea is going to be a little screwy, but yeah, I'm fairly certain it's I'll, I'll have to look it up. <sighs> I hope I, I hope I can still grind over <laughs> grind drown for copper. That'll be nice. <laughs> uh, Cause that, that farm is so easy. You play soccer a lot and don't play a lot of Minecraft. No, that's fair. So that's totally fair. Minecraft is my jam, so. And frankly, I'm too old to play soccer. <laughs> and as I found out today, I have gout, which makes walking a pain in the foot. Uh, but I have good drugs, so that should take care of that here in a week or so. <laughs> Don't get old, people. It's not fun. Being old is for the weak or something. That didn't make any sense at all. No, no, it made zero sense. <sighs> no, well, yeah, I've got some uh, anti-inflammatories to, to deal with the arthritis, which is what gout is. It's an inflammation. It's an arthritis type thing. So 
Better living through chemistry. <laughs> anyway, I need to go to. Um, thank you all for hanging out. And next stream will be uh, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time. So, again, yeah, like the video, subscribe. You know the drill. And I'll see you then. And until then, be excellent to each other. And uh, this is Music Free Gaming signing off.